Think your FPS drops and stutters are just bad luck? Nope, most of it comes down to one thing, Windows Hidden System Timer. Under the hood, Windows has hidden timer settings, system calls, and driver-level behaviors that actually control how often your CPU handles interrupts, how your GPU delivers frames, and how smooth your frame times feel in-game in real time. If you've ever dealt with micro stutters, uneven frame pacing, or random input lag spikes, chances are your system timer isn't tuned properly. That's what we're fixing today. Instead of stopping at surface level tools, we're going to unlock five deeper steps to optimize Windows timer resolution the right way for stable frame times, lower latency, and a much smoother gameplay experience. Step one, understand and measure your current timer resolution. Before we tweak anything, we need to understand how your system is currently behaving. Press Win plus R, type CMD, then hit Enter to open the command prompt. Now type this command, powercfg slash query. Scroll through the output and look for System Timer Resolution. Most Windows 10 and 11 systems will show a default of 15.6 milliseconds. However, this number can drop to 0.5 milliseconds temporarily when games or certain apps request it. Here's the issue. Windows doesn't always hold a consistent value. It can jump between 15.6 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 1 millisecond, and 0.5 milliseconds, depending on what's running in the background. These fluctuations might seem small, but they can cause micro stuttering in games or real-time applications. To check if that's happening on your system, install LatencyMon, a free diagnostic tool. Run LatencyMon while you're gaming or running any real-time task. What you're looking for are spikes in DPC latency, especially when the timer resolution changes. If you see those spikes, it means your system isn't maintaining a stable timer resolution, and that instability is likely contributing to performance issues. That's exactly what we're going to address in the next steps. Step 2. For stable timer resolution with registry edits. Now it's time to bring stability to your system timer by unlocking and adjusting some hidden settings in the Windows registry. First, open the registry editor by pressing Win plus R, typing regedit and hitting Enter. Navigate to this location. Here, you'll need to create or modify the following D word values. Global Timer Resolution Requests equals 1. This tells Windows to honor custom timer resolution requests from apps or games, rather than ignoring or overriding them. Use Platform Tick equals 1. This setting ensures that Windows sticks to a stable hardware clock instead of switching back and forth between different timing sources. Once that's done, move on to the next registry path. In this section, look for and edit these values. System responsiveness equals zero. By default, it's set to 20, which means Windows is trying to balance foreground and background tasks. Setting it to zero gives full priority to foreground tasks like games or audio applications. Network throttling index equals FFFF. This completely disables hidden network throttling that can introduce unnecessary delays, especially in multiplayer games or streaming. Scheduling category equals high. Set this to high to ensure your system prioritizes real-time processing over background services. Together, these registry changes help force a stable 0.5 MS timer resolution, prevent windows from switching timers in the background, and remove several forms of automatic optimization that often do more harm than good for latency-sensitive tasks. Step 3. Apply BCD Edit and Command Line Timer Fixes. 
Now let's harden the system timer using boot configuration commands. Open CMD as administrator and run BCD edit slash set use platform tick yes. To verify, BCD edit slash enum. Look for the timer policies you just applied. Step four, optimize multimedia timer calls, the ISLC killer upgrade. Now we're diving into the next level of optimization. This is where we really start pushing performance. While ISLC already works wonders by cleaning standby memory and requesting that stable 0.5 milliseconds resolution, we can enhance things even more by adjusting multimedia timer calls directly in the registry. Start by navigating to this location in the registry. In this section, you'll want to adjust the following settings. GPU priority equals eight. This tells Windows to prioritize GPU tasks at a high level, ensuring the best performance during gaming or graphics heavy tasks. Priority equals six. Setting this to 6 ensures that your games or applications get enough CPU attention to avoid stutter without starving other processes. Scheduling category equals high. This forces Windows to give high priority to these tasks, making sure they run smoothly without delays. Affinity, leave blank. Windows will handle CPU affinity automatically, so no need to touch this one. Once that's done, Head to this next location in the registry. Now make this change. Clock rate equals 10,000. This forces a much tighter scheduling, ensuring that media playback, whether it's audio or video, runs with precision, preventing any lag or stutter. After making these registry changes, we'll move to the final step, applying a system-wide timer request to kick in every time your PC boots up. Open CMD as administrator and enter the following command. Set timer resolution equals maximum. This command ensures that timer resolution is set to max every time you log in, giving your system a consistent and stable timer resolution right from the start. Step five, test and validate stable frame time. Now that we've tuned your system, it's time to test and make sure everything is running smoothly. First, open Latency Mon and let it run while you're gaming or running a similar real-time application. After running it for a bit, check for DPC latency spikes. Specifically, you should no longer see any red spikes linked to ntoskrnl.exe or dxgkrnl.sys. If those have disappeared, that's a good sign that the timer resolution is much more stable. Next, Fire up RTSS or Reva Tuner Statistics Server and enable the frame time graph to visualize how smooth the performance is. At this point, your frame time line should appear almost flat. There should be fewer micro spikes or fluctuations, indicating a smoother experience with less stutter. For an extra layer of optimization, head to Device Manager and navigate to System Devices. Look for High Precision Event Timer, or HPET, and disable it. Some systems perform better with it turned off, as certain CPUs prefer relying on the timestamp counter, or TSC, for timing, instead of HPET. Once you've made that change, be sure to benchmark both modes, HPET on and off. You'll want to keep the configuration that results in flatter frame times and the smoothest performance overall. And that's it. You've just learned how to optimize Windows timer resolution properly. Not just ISLC, but the full stack. Registry edits, BCDE edit fixes, multimedia scheduling tweaks, and auto-applied stable timers. The result? Consistent 0.5 millisecond system timer, flatter frame times, goodbye micro stutters, and lower input delay across all games. If this video helped, smash that like button. Subscribe for more no fluff optimization guides and let me know in the comments if you want me to cover HPET tuning versus TSC tuning in detail. Now your Windows system is no longer guessing its timing. It's locked in for competitive gaming performance.